Hello PlayStation fans! Today we are revisiting the phenomenal PlayStation 2 game based upon the second film in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy, The Two Towers. The Lord of the Rings The Two Towers is a 2002 video game that was released several weeks before the film on which it is based. It included 9 minutes of film footage from The Two Towers that was not present in any movie trailer or PR release, and so playing the game was the only way for fans to see those clips early. As it is not an adaption of J.R.R. Tolkien's novel, anything not specifically mentioned or depicted in the New Line cinema films could not be represented in the game. EA decided not to publish a game based on Jackson's Fellowship of the Ring film and incorporated some of the plot and footage into this game instead. Therefore you actually spend the first third of this game navigating your way through the previous movie, which we think is a huge bonus. For example, the training level sets the player on the slopes of Mount Doom, in a scene from the prologue of the first film. The Two Towers is a hack and slash action game played from a third person perspective. The game allows players to play as Aragorn, Legolas and Gimli. The only level in which this isn't the case is at Weathertop, where only Aragorn is playable. A seal door can also be unlocked as a bonus. After me everyone! A seal door! Often the two characters not chosen as the player character will appear as supporting NPCs. Each character is more skilled at a particular type of combat. Aragorn is the most balanced character. Legolas is better at ranged combat. And Gimli has strong melee attacks. Combos are an important part of combat, with each character having access to a unique list of combos. During each level, the player will continually be graded on the skill with which they dispatch enemies. Once the level is completed, the player is then given an overall rating based on their performance, and awarded the corresponding number of upgrade points, to spend on new combos, health increases and stronger attacks. The game features voice acting from the actors of the films. We could pass through the mines of Moria. My cousin Balin will give us a royal welcome. Watch out! Stormfront, who developed the game, visited the set multiple times and remained in regular contact with the film's production team to ensure the game matched the finished film as closely as possible. Everything from entire sets and locations to individual weapons and props were recreated in the game. We especially enjoy how the game transitions from film clips to in-game footage. Seamless. I'm going to have to watch that again in slow motion to see where the transition was. And you have my bow. And my axe. The Two Towers received a generally positive response, with critics praising the recreation of sets and scenes from the films, and the epic scope of some of the battles. Ryan McDonald from GameSpot added, A traditional action game with a terrific gameplay system that encourages you to battle it out like there's no tomorrow. Some, however, criticise the game for being too short, and the combat overly repetitive. Maxim's Alex Porter said, Players will get bored with repetitive thrusting and parrying. <sighs> Sounds like an Isengard spy to me. The game was a huge commercial success. On the PlayStation 2 it sold over 1.5 million copies and earned $65 million in the United States alone. I wonder what Tolkien himself would have said about all this. So Mr Tolkien, in the future a company called EA will make more money than you've ever seen off of your work through video games. So what are your memories of the two towers? And who was your favourite character to play as? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.
For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos in the future. Cheers!